turkey leg hunt because I've been hearing this and I've been wanting to talk about it, but it was so much going on with Diddy last week, and so we had to make sure that we made rooms, made rooms, made room because I told you guys that I was going to stay on top of it and keep you guys informed on what's going on out here. So the turkey leg hut uh, down there, I believe it's in Houston, is an incredibly popular restaurant, right? And the minute that they start having uh, affair issues, apparently, allegedly, and people saying that, oh, I want a divorce and stuff, and then you start seeing the money start dwindling, and when the money mess up, then people start getting nervous. People start getting nervous, all right? Turkey Leg Hut is a restaurant owned by black people. An incredibly popular restaurant. But now, now, apparently they filed a lawsuit. Or I'm sorry, filed for bankruptcy. Trill filed for lawsuit, but we're going to get to Trill in a minute. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on, turn on your notifications. Uh, I want to show y'all what's happening over at the Turkey Leg Hut. Uh, let's see what we got here. All new at 430, the owner of a popular Houston restaurant, the Turkey Leg Hut, has filed for bankruptcy. According to new court records, Nakia Price has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The documents show Price is nearly $5 million in debt to 19 creditors. This includes more than $400,000 to the SBA and nearly $2 million to the Texas Comptroller. All of this comes after a fire damaged part of the restaurant's business earlier this month. Now, okay, all right, all right. So, first things first, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, fires on small businesses is always, always a suspicious red flag. That's just me. That's just me. Fires on a small business is all, especially when you under the, it's almost like, it's like getting your car stolen when you're three months behind. Immediately, the insurance company is going to start being like, hey, man, what's going on over here? <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean a fire broke out? When you get your car stolen and you was about to get it repossessed at the same time, the insurance company is going to start looking a little crooked. They're going to say, what is going on? Why is this happening? Just, just the fire just broke out out of the blue now. Chapter 11 bankruptcy allows for a company to stay in business and restructure its finances and operations, meaning that they still want the turkey leg hut to stay open. They just want to reorganize their finances, all right? And it's for businesses. Also, if a company is filing for Chapter 11 and it opts or proposes uh, a reorganization plan, it must be in the best interest of the creditors. Must be in the best interest of the creditors. Not the business, but it has to be in the best interest of the creditors. You know why? Because the SBA... Is owed four hundred thousand dollars. Creditors, nineteen different creditors are owed. Nineteen different creditors are owed over five million dollars. If the debtor does not put forth a plan, the creditors may propose one instead, meaning that they're gonna have to go in court and they're gonna have to fight back and forth while the while it stays open. Okay, uh, many major corporations, including uh, General Motors, United Airlines, all of them have restructured their businesses for Chapter Eleven, but. Here's the thing, two weeks ago, two weeks ago before we got into the Chapter 11 conversation and they said, hey, we owe too much money, we can't pay our creditors and our marketing absolutely is toast because uh, we've had, the problem with a lot of these people is that they tie their personal marketing brand to the business, right? Which means that the business can't survive if they personally have issues. So if once they start going through a divorce, not only did all of the, the skeletons start coming out of the closet as far as who was running the restaurant right, who was taking the money, but then it became bitter, and then they forced one person out of it, and then they started hitting them with a lawsuit, and so things got messy. Now, the co-owner of the scandal-ridden turkey leg hut is looking like the bad guy. Did you see what she said? The scandal-ridden turkey leg hut. She didn't say the, the co-owners of turkey leg the divert when you see turkey leg hut you automatically think of divorce because they was all parading it and saying hey guys we're together and all of this but you couldn't keep it together because that was a part of your marketing plan so now the business has to suffer as a result of it right the business has anton do you do that too absolutely <laughs> but we keep the family together <laughs> absolutely it's the reason why i show the receipts it's the reason why I keep my wife around me. Anytime I've ever been to a 
a Patreon meetup, you don't just meet me. Rita's the one that be controlling the room. All of the ladies. Oh, my God. We love Rita. You need to bring her to the next meetup and all of this stuff. And I'll be like, I thought y'all was there for me. We're here for Rita. We're not here for you. So then the ladies can see a softer side of me because they know, hey, listen, once me, we meet your wife, Anton, it's impossible for you to be a monster in real life. I know that these women is out here lying on you, saying that you hate women because it ain't nobody like this in the, in the whole world. Her personality is sweet. She got a good disposition. She don't be getting unruly. She's incredibly submissive. People be emailing me talking about, uh, can I get a coaching call from Rita? I'm like, y'all don't even know her. Y'all don't even know her. How you want a coaching call from a woman that's in the background? Look, see? Look at Azriel. We here for Rita. We here for Rita. <laughs> Went over to Houston and all of the ladies dipped out with Rita. Like, what y'all doing? But absolutely, it is a part of my brand. Everything that you do that's visible is a part of your brand. 100%. But that goes for the other side of it, too, right? Because then when the business starts to fall apart, the brand may suffer, depending on how you marketed yourself. At least that's what a judge decided when ordering Lindell Lynn Price and the Turkey Leg Hut to pay $900,000 in damages. This comes at the end of a lawsuit filed more than Kelly. a year ago by his former, former business partner, Steve Rogers. Rogers claimed that the restaurant's other co-owners defaulted on an agreement that involved paying him $1.5 million worth of shares. They only paid $600,000 of that before the payment stopped. Now that judge is ordering that Rogers be paid the $900,000 worth in damage. So Turkey Leg Hut is in flux. I mean, at this point, they might have shut off shop. They might as well just, you know, rock out and uh, wrap it up. But f on the flip side, you also got Bun B. Now, Bun B has gained so much popularity, even to the point that I was even considering, hey, man, I might need to go and get a Trill Burger whenever it is that I'm in wherever right <laughs> see look at sister i watch in the hopes of a rita sighting oh my god i'm gonna read this super chat shortly but bun b has been great when it comes to his marketing i've never actually tasted a trill burger but the marketing and, and using his his visibility as a rapper and in his relationships and then having drake coming here and all of that you can't say that Bun B has not been great at marketing. Whether you like him or you don't like him, you got to respect the business acumen. But, but, now even Bun B and Trill Burgers and all the co-founders, this is what happens when you have a partnership. Oh, look at Rita. Thanks, ladies. I love y'all. Rita ain't even got blue hair no more. She got a whole nother hairstyle. Y'all don't even, even know it. You ain't even know it. Bun B is now getting into a, a lawsuit. Everybody is filing lawsuits against each other. It just makes you wonder, like, how long can something be good? You don't really hear that from, like, Wahlburgers or nothing like that, do you? Maybe you do. I don't know. But this is what's happening with Trill Burgers also. And there is a beef over the popular Smash Burgers concept, Trill Burgers, of course, run by Houston legendary rapper Bum B. He is suing his former business partners, accusing them of mismanaging the business's cut money. Yeah, so they've turned around and they filed a countersuit against Trill Burger, saying that they were cut out of the company <laughs> and that was their idea. Our Micah Hathfield joining us now live from the restaurant to make sense. Don't make me call you, girl. I got your phone number. Rita. So all of these claims that are going on, Micah. There's a lot of back and forth accusations here. The issue between the two parties happened long before Trillburger opened here on Shepherd and Richmond. We'll read y'all super chats and cash apps in a minute. You know, people are standing in line for hours to get a chance to eat the Trillburger. That was Patsy and Benson's doing. Depending on who you ask, they may or may not agree with that statement. Siblings Patsy and Vincent Vivarez owned Sticky's Chicken, a now shuttered restaurant in Sawyer Yards that Trillburger operated through when it was a pop-up. 
The Vivares were partners with rapper Bun B and two others. And the sibling's attorney claims they're the ones who came up with the burger recipe that has people lining up down the sidewalk. What you had was Andy Nguyen, who was a restaurateur from Southern California, had a smash burger concept, right? And he assembled this team of people to open one in Houston. Mm. This was not the brainchild of the Vivares. The Vivares are no longer part of Trill Burgers as of the summer of 2022. The business's attorney says Bun B and the other partners decided to part ways after Patsy Vivares sent a text saying she took $45,000 to put towards her other restaurant stickies. The lawsuit also claims that the Vivares won't hand over control of the website domain trillburgers.com. Mm. But you can't allow partners to misappropriate funds and we although we know about $45,000 we don't know about the total amount. The Vivares mm. are countersuing saying their restaurant stickies propped up Trill Burger to be what it is today but they were cut out. If you think of a Nike swoosh we were just like right at the bottom of the swoosh and then it went up exponentially. So it's getting sticky it's getting sticky Nah, Rita can't be on the stream. Rita is living her own life. She's living her best life. And um, she's completely out, out of that because I have to protect my family. Y'all, listen, listen. Rita is not a content creator. All right? Before we get to this Trill Burgers thing, I want all of my ladies to... Maybe she could do an exclusive inside of the Patreon. Make sure y'all... I'm going to put a poll up in the Patreon and then y'all tell me what y'all want. What y'all want. Maybe she could do it in the Patreon just for the ladies that's in the, in the bag chasers. All right, we'll, we'll, I'll put a poll up this afternoon and we'll go from there. But um, she's not a content creator. She's just attached to me. Now, if y'all want to know how she's able to tame Tom Dog, then that's a, completely, uh, that's a completely different conversation. All right? But this is what's happening with Trill Burgers. Let's get back to the show. They saying Bun B was just a face. I see you, Marcella. They said Bun B was just a face. That's all it is. Bun B is just a face. They said that he went out there and he promoted it and all of this stuff. But I think that all of it, all of it is interconnected and you couldn't have one without the other. I teach inside of the Patreon, one of the things that you need to do, and that's why I say that it doesn't take a lot of money in order to proof out a concept, is to do a pop-up in an already existing restaurant. Well, I'm not going to get into that, right? But he basically did one of the exact same things, the exact same things that I teach inside of the bag chasers in order to proof out a concept to see whether or not it makes sense for you to continue over with the idea. Once he was able to leverage his marketing in order to bring more visibility, they're saying that, no, it was just our idea and that was our burger. It's not enough. You got to have a marketing. You got to have a visibility. You got to have a good product. And then it all makes for a great thing. But when you have partners and you start to make money and an idea starts to blow up, it's all cool until you start to make money. This is why you need your paperwork right. Paperwork solves for all of this. It shows roles and responsibilities. It shows shareholders, percentages. All of that should have been established before they started to even get into the restaurant concept in the first place. All of it should have been established before they started to get into the restaurant concept in the first place. Why? Because it eliminates any messiness and any feelings because you know what you're getting into before you get into it. And so now it's unfortunate because instead of them being able to leverage the visibility that they're getting from creating a great product and great marketing and branding, some people saying it's expensive. I haven't been there, so I don't know yet. Now it's mired in lawsuits, and the only thing I see on social media and the stuff that people are sending to me about Trill Burgers is the fact that they have partnership issues and they're trying to solve for it with lawsuits. Yep, the operating agreement, absolutely. So it's unfortunate that a lot of these businesses are not being able to thrive based off of a great product, but people don't actually know how to run it from a business perspective and put it together in the first place. So Turkey Leg Hut, Bun B Trill Burgers, that's the latest updates. I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on out here in these streets.